Actually going to go to an NBC News special report on the latest on that active shooting in Las Vegas. NBC News special report. Here's Lester Holt. Good afternoon. We're coming back on the air with breaking news about that shooting at the University of Nevada in Las Vegas. NBC News is reporting, according to law enforcement sources, that there are multiple fatalities and police say the suspect is also dead. There is, as you might understand, a massive police presence on and around campus. There is even a ground stop in place at the airport, which is virtually next door now. The university, with an enrollment of about 30,000 students, has closed for the rest of the day. Las Vegas Metro PD holding a news conference with new information. It just got underway. Here, uh, this is still a very active and dynamic scene, so if you can avoid the area, we would appreciate it. And we'll be pr providing additional updates in the very near future. Thank there you. There are victims. Yes, there are victims. Yes, on uh, behalf of the entire com uh, uh, first responder community, though, of course, our, our hearts go out to any of the families that are affected by this. Uh, our update right now is that we do have a, a reunification center that is opened up at the convention center. That's at the North Hall. It will take time to transport uh, students over to that area, but if you can't get a hold of uh, your loved ones right now, your, your, your kids or uh, somebody that you're concerned with, then that would be the place to go and to try to uh, go ahead and do that reunification. Uh, we will have people there to assist you. We also have a phone number. Uh, it is being staffed. It's 702-455-AIDE. And there'll be a website opened up, and it's uh, facofsouthernnevada.com. Okay, and so that is our uh, current uh, information that we have uh, for victim services, and that will um, uh, change also as or, or be updated as necessary. But we will have those resources there. Understand when you call that number or you check the website, the information right now will still be limited, and there won't be any specific information as far as uh, individuals that have been uh, injured or, or deceased. Sheriff, what's happening on the campus now? I see people leaving. So as you can imagine, the campus is a very large um, area to cover. Uh, much like we had it in the aftermath of 1 October, there's a lot of additional calls coming in that students hunkered down, they're afraid, they're scared. Our officers are going unit by unit, building by building with the, uh, the, the university police and the rest of the police officers, firefighters, EMS, and making sure that we don't have any additional victims and or subjects. So we'll be back with you in the very near future to provide an update. Thank any you. Any info on the suspect? Sheriff? I have an update as well. I'm right, sorry. On that, on that website, that's going to be facofsouthernnevada.org. I believe I said dot .com. That is, uh, that is dot .org. Right, Thank you, sir. Information. All right, so we just got the latest information on the situation here. At All right, we've been dipping into that news conference there uh, in Las Vegas. Let's get right to NBC investigative correspondent Tom Winter, who's tracking developments. Tom, we heard the sheriff say there are victims. What more do we know beyond that? Right, Lester. So we know from the Las Vegas Police Department posting on social media uh, some time ago now that the suspected shooter in this incident has been found deceased. Then on top of that, we've been told by multiple senior law enforcement officials that there are perhaps uh, one to two others uh, that were not involved, or not the shooters of this incident, rather, uh, that are also deceased. The numbers are very fluid right now, as you can imagine, as we just saw. This is a very dynamic scene with a lot of law enforcement uh, arriving on scene to help clear these buildings. So the specific numbers are a little bit in doubt. And of course, uh, knowing that these are students, their parents are probably watching. We want to be cautious as far as uh, what we know so far. But we do know that multiple people have been shot. At least uh, two others uh, besides the shooter are believed to be dead. The shooter is believed to be dead. And at this point, there's no indication that there are any additional threats. Uh, but of course, they're doing everything that they need to do, which is going from building to building, room to room, to make sure that there are no additional victims and that there's not any other potential suspect that they're looking for. And so that's the current state of the investigation. Just too soon to say here, Lester, what the motive might be. So we'll hold off on any sort of speculation, certainly on that, and uh, continue to wait for officials to brief from the scene. It's clear at this point, uh, listening to the sheriff and to the chief uh, there who uh, oversees the school's policing department, that there's a lot more details to figure out. All right, Tom. All right, we're going to switch back to local coverage now. That special report on the shooting in Las Vegas.